Hello, welcome to my channel, Rocket Source Rex, where we review and talk about all things dinosaur and other prehistoric animals. Today, what we have before us is another offering from PNSO, and uh, you see it right there before us. It's number 66, and uh, before we go any further, you're probably wondering well, the last PNSO model that I reviewed was 63. That was the uh, Lingualong sauropod and uh, you'd be right yeah so it's like we're missing some numbers so pin is so it's not the first time they've done it they will release uh, their models out of their numerical order uh, to wit this is 66 Changzu the Sino Pleosaurus and we'll talk about that in a hot second too uh, it was just announced a few days ago that uh, PNSO is coming out with their own Dinochirus, and that's numbered 64. So, um, yeah, there is that. I should have a Dinochirus in about uh, a week and a half from now. So, uh, yep, you know I put my order in for it. Anyhow, that's uh, what we're talking about here. This is, uh, as you just heard me say, um, officially as per PNSO, this is a uh, Cenopleosaurus. And a um, lot of controversy with this one because officially, Cynopleosaurus is a, ple a, ple a pleosaur or a pliosaur, however you want to uh, pronounce it. And you see that that's part of the name. The Sino uh, stands for Chinese Moor Lizard. The Sino and the Plio stands for uh, Chinese Moor Lizard. The source, you already know what that's all about. And. Um, there was some type of confusion. This goes all the way back to 1944. And uh, they found some teeth. And um, it was first described as a, uh, a, a pleosaurus, a plesiosaur of, of uh, some type. And so um, it was then named Sanopleosaurus. If you go look up Sanopleosaurus, most of what you'll find will be uh, of uh, pleosaurs and what they are they're marine reptiles and they're a, uh, a genus of plesiosaur pleosaurs are short necked versions of uh, plesiosaurs marine reptiles and uh, so got that and then somehow I, I can't even tell you how the confusion came about where um, they assumed that, it, that the teeth belonged to a, a, a spinosaurid so, um, like I said, there was some confusion there, but if you, like I said, if you look up Sanopleosaurus, you're going to find a plesiosaur that is a, uh, a pliosaur. So, um, yeah, that's, that's just kind of crazy to me. Um, if anything, this probably should have been um, classified as a, a, a Siamosaurus, which is um, China's uh, first known uh, spinosaurid. And um, even then, this wouldn't be as accurate as what they believe a uh, Siamosaurus looked like. I believe a Siamosaurus had um, more of a uh, hump, you know, around the uh, around the hip area. That area, there, I think, it, I think that uh, that indentation in there is supposed to be a little bit deeper for it to be uh, truly a Siamosaurus. But um, I could be wrong about that. Anyhow. Um, that's what this should be classified as. Um, so we're going to, we've got no other stats to go by but a Simosaurus uh, statistics. And once again, like I said, it was from China, Thailand. It, uh, a Simosaurus now we're talking about, um, lived about 157 million years ago. Uh, it was about 30 feet long. And uh, Simosaurus is uh, called, uh, it, it's basically Siamese lizard is what it means, but um, yeah. So enough of all that. Uh, it's an it's an it's a it's just a hot mess with this particular dinosaur. So this is basically, for all intents and purposes, a generic Spinosaurid. And um, for me, I'm just going to uh, think of it as a Siamosaurus, and uh, you know, leave it at that. So enough of that. Let's get this. Uh, whatever this is out of the box.
as always with their theropods pen is so has included a stand that you can use to prevent it uh, warping and tipping over or tipping over due to it warping and also as per usual PNSO includes an informational booklet you see it's, it reads here Chomzu the Pleosaurus number 66 and as always it has uh, all kinds of information mostly geared towards kids I am Chomzu the Sinopliosaurus and yeah I'll be saying that name differently because I'm not even really thinking of it as that but it has illustrations this is of the model it'll have things like how to draw it'll, you know the same old same old that we're used to more illustrations and uh, yeah it goes on and on and on so there's that PNSO also gives us posters and uh, they're starting to get lazy because the posters lately have just been of the model itself where it used to be a, uh, an illustration and a scene which uh, I can't front even though I don't use the posters I prefer at least being able to look one time at the scene because I don't need a poster of the model that I already have but I digress I'm sure some people out there enjoy these so here we have our Cyanosaurus, as I'm going to refer to it as, or Cynopleosaurus, whatever, a Spinosaurid, uh, a generic style uh, dinosaur model uh, rotating on our base. While uh, this, uh, whatever you are, whatever this is, is uh, rotating, please go down below and uh, hit that like button. And while you're down there, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that as well so we can try to uh, get. Uh, get this uh, channel up and rolling and uh, I would uh, greatly appreciate that anyway um, while you guys do that we'll uh, take uh, one final look at uh, our rotating Spinosaurid here and now we'll just uh, get him off the uh, the platter so before we uh, take a closer look at our Spinosaurid dinosaur here let's take a uh, quick measurement real and uh, the tail is kind of curved, so I got to look at it from a uh, certain style angle here. It's about 11 and a half inches, so doing the calculations at 135th scale, which PNSO dinosaurs are rated uh, uh, scaled at uh, 11.5. That would uh, more or less make this uh, critter uh, about uh, 33 feet long. If it represented a real animal, now I can't, I can't really say if it's uh, uh, out of scale, too big, or whatever. I do know that if we're going to uh, utilize this as a uh, cymosaurus, then it's a little bit too big. So it's probably uh, um, would be a, a scale of a you know different size there. Basically, it would be uh, one thirty scale, which would make it about a. a 28 a little bit bigger than a 28 foot long animal which would put it right in there for a cymosaurus so uh probably uh, i mean to get even closer you'd say uh 131 scale and that would make it a little over 29 feet long if it represented a real animal so there it is but we don't know what it is so it could be right in scale for all we know but um if we're going by a cymosaurus it should be scaled this is scaled at about uh, 131 Taking a look close up of our uh, Cyanosaurus or Cyanopliosaurus or uh, just generic Spinosaurid dinosaur. Taking a look at that head sculpt, you can see it, they did capture the the essence of a Spinosaurid dinosaur. So at least we know that we got that right. And as I stated before, uh, Cyanosaurus is uh, China's first known Spinosaurid dinosaur. So uh, I don't even know why. Uh, they wouldn't go with that. You would think um, PNSO, especially the way they like to pump out Chinese dinosaurs, they'd be proud of that fact. But um, who knows what they were thinking. Anyway, head scope looks nice. The jaw is articulated. Be very careful because the jaw is thinner than um, your average uh, theropod. And uh, the teeth, the teeth are looking uh, mighty fine there. You can see that uh, they're all individually painted looks pretty nice it's hard to really get a look into that mouth because of how narrow the snout is but uh, as best we can look in there 
so that's pretty cool and uh, as far as the coloration is concerned you see there at the uh, the end of the snout it's a nice dark you see the scalation there as it moves up it gets lighter and turns to a it's a a, a greenish kind of uh, you know very very subtle green uh, like right over the uh, the browns there the uh, the eye painted just total black there and uh, you see you've got that uh, that crest above the eye that's painted um, a lighter color that looks pretty nice and uh, yeah that's a pretty nice skull looking at the underside there you see the throat has got a uh, a brick reddish kind of uh, palette there and you see the wrinkles of the throat looks really nice there especially right there that looks cool you've got the uh, the striping there it's a uh, brownish kind of color stored off at the top there with the spines we've got the black striping and it's like a dark brownish kind of orangey color and then and it just gets lighter as it goes down and uh, you can see that uh, continues you see the scalation you see the uh, the scales the osteoderms there looks pretty good I'll give them that we may not know exactly what this creature is but at least PNSO made it look good looking at the uh, the four limbs it's got some nice robust forelimbs there with three large size claws that are uh, black. They end in black there. You see the the uh, the, uh, the wrinkles right there. It looks cool. You see the stretched skin. You know I'm, I'm always talking about that. It looks great. Even in the back there you see more stretched skin. Looking down the legs. Looks real nice there. They get dark there. You've got the uh, the three toes with the claws there looks pretty cool it's got the cloaca slit right there going down more of the striping everything looks good osteoderms going all the way down a nice big thick flat tail for uh, like if it was swimming and uh, like you know if it could swim it would use that to uh, help propel it along more of that uh, stripe work there you've got those scales they go all the way down the scoots go all the way down to the very end of the tail there and turning it over you've got the same thing on the other side there look at all the nice scale work there pretty good more of the stretched skin both front and back as it pushes off of this right leg got more osteoderms there that coloration is, is good the wrinkles that right uh, forelimb looking nice and then of course we're back there looking at uh, our Spinosaurus uh, happy face and the only comparison we're going to do today will be with the uh, critter that uh, this uh, subset was named after the Spinosaurus itself this uh, courtesy of GR Toys I could have broken out the PNSO Juvenile Spinosaurus or even the uh, oversized uh, spinal that they have but um, I chose not to we know what it is so enjoy this because this is all we're getting today so to wrap this review up the PNSO Sinopliosaurus I tell you I just uh, I, I just don't feel right even saying the name but um, that's what uh, PNSO is calling it. Once again, for me, this is a Cymosaurus. Uh, this generic Spinosaur dinosaur from PNSO looks great. I can't take that away from PNSO. They may have gotten the classification all screwy, but the execution is uh, is absolutely uh, pristine. The uh, the uh, well, how the colors just uh, change up, especially we talked about in that skull. They're uh, just top notch. I love the uh, how the uh, claws end in the dark colors. The striping is pretty nice. Um, I'm liking the color. There's not too much I can truly say because once again, we don't even know what this truly is. So. Uh, it is what it is. That's the best I can give you. So uh, I'm going to leave it right there. Stay tuned for the uh, PNSO Dinochiris. Uh, that'll be coming soon. Hopefully, 
I'll have something else for you guys, but um, I don't know what's on the table for that. I know I'm I'm anxiously awaiting the arrival of Adina Kyrus. Uh, as I stated when I reviewed the uh, the uh, what was it the Nanmu uh, was it by Nanmu I believe it was uh, the uh, Therizinosaurus uh, that um, my other uh, dream unusual theropod that I wish that I'd have in my collection would be a Dinocaris and that's about to happen so I'm happy about that what would make me even happier is if you guys would like this video, share this video, and most definitely, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below, questions, concerns, criticisms, especially about this guy. I'd love to hear your take uh, on this particular dinosaur right here. And uh, yes, definitely, uh, if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video, please hit the bell, and that will happen for you on behalf of the Sanopliosaurus. A.K. Simosaurus, but we'll go with generic Spinosaurid, Ruckosaurus Rex. Thank you for uh, watching my channel, guys. Take care.